That moment when you get up and you realize your shirt is tucked into your baggy ass pajama pants. <laughs> I hit another weigh-in this morning in the 116 weight range, which is pretty good for me actually, especially with traveling and those are usually, those are like the lower numbers that I've been seeing. Yeah, I'm feeling decent for seven weeks out. Not totally where I want to be, but seven weeks is still a lot of time regardless of how much time that sounds like. Excuse my things coming in the frame there. So we're going to get ready and start the day. It's about 11 o'clock or so right now. I've already been spending some time Funny enough, as messy as this place looks, I've already started spending some time cleaning and like getting stuff together over here. So I packed up one whole box right there. One box I packed up, which is great. Um, I somewhat cleaned the kitchen, although it is still quite messy. I have a lot of work to do. Some stuff over here. I have all the stuff I have to take downstairs, which is like trash slash stuff, uh, recycling. Um, I have a ton of clothes to put away. I got one bag of stuff finished. Um, if you guys don't know, packing stuff, if you have stuff hanging in your closet, uh, put a hole at the bottom of a trash bag. 10 to 15 hangers worth of hanging stuff and then put them in the trash bag because there's a hole right there and then tie it up at the bottom and then your clothes will already be ready to hang up once you get there. You can just like carry these trash bags in your car or whatever. But I am moving in exactly a week from today so I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of boxes to put together. I have a lot of stuff to organize. I have a lot of stuff to like throw away and just purge, get rid of stuff that I don't need. So that's gonna take a little bit of a little bit of time. This place is gonna be a little bit messy for the next week, but I will be in my new place in a week. So I'm very excited. And Cast is coming off in two weeks, I believe. I was supposed to go to the doctor yesterday, but my flights got delayed, so I didn't get to the doctor's appointment that I had scheduled immediately after my flight because it was delayed. So. Next stop, we're going to the gym, doing some upper body, some cardio. My coach added a cardio session to my training for this week, so I was doing three cardio sessions, now I'm doing four, so we're gonna do another cardio session today. And what's after that? I have to finish working, turtle shell, not talk to people. I've been traveling for a week, so this is my little oasis today. Catch you guys in a sec. A lot of you guys have asked me, Amanda, how do you cut your Ape Athletics t-shirts to make it fit to your body? It's a men's t-shirt, they don't have the women's stuff out yet. How do you cut them to make them look a little bit better because they're just a men's t-shirt? I told you guys I would show you eventually when I got a new shirt, so I have one right here. I'm gonna show you how to cut it. So basically what I'll do is I'll lay the shirt flat, take the shirt and I'll cut it right to the top of where this little tag is. If you're a little bit taller, I would probably cut it maybe right above where the little flap is right here. I cut about like two inches off of mine because I have a short torso. All right, step one is complete. I cut off about two inches off the bottom, but I am short, so disclaimer, if you're not short, you might need to change this around a little bit. Second step, I basically go up about an inch from the corner over here and I'll cut at a little circular angle until it reaches the bottom. I'll just fold the shirt in half. Essentially do the same thing, but on the other side. So this is what the shirt looks like completed. As you can see, the bottoms are basically just rounded and the shirt is cut to fit me. So as you can see here, the shirt is cut right to, um, I like my shirts to hit right above the hip and not go too, too long, but also not come too, too short. I actually probably should have cut this one inch a little bit longer, but I basically just, ha I like having this little crease up on the side because it makes the shirt longer in the back, longer in the front, and it shows off like the side of the body. So if you do a pose like this, it works out pretty nicely. And then I'll just roll up the sleeves a little bit to show off a little arm. That is how I roll or cut my t-shirt. So. Everybody who is interested in asking, that is how I do it. But it's upper body day, so if I don't wear a tank top, what kind of meathead even am I? So Max gave me a nice little Umoro shaker cup to try out, which is pretty cool. Basically what you do, come on. Opening things is still hard. I just put it in my, <laughs> my uh, arm right there. Take a scoop of your pre-workout or whatever powder form you have, put it in this little guy right here. Two scoops of the PE Science High Volume. We're gonna do one scoop of the new PE Science Alphamine formula. The one without the yohimbine in it, which I do really enjoy by the way. And then we put it in here. 
fill this with water, like halfway. I'll use just about this much water, not a whole lot of water. Um, I like it a little bit potent, so I prefer it without water. You take this guy, put it right here, and it like snaps on or whatever, like so. So now your pre-workout is in the top of the shaker. You screw it on, and then you press this button when you're ready to drink it, and basically the little, sh this part like falls down and it's cool and stuff. So as the moving process continues, I just decided that all of these clothes are just going to be donated as opposed to doing anything else with them because convenience, easier, good person, and I want to donate stuff and I haven't in a while. So these are all going to Salvation Army. I have a box at UPS that's a UPS mailbox for business purposes and I got an email like four weeks ago before the car accident happened saying that I had a package and I kept trying to come here and get it, get the package, pick it up. I know who it was from. It is, there's like two of these um, for the project that I'm working on that is like a secret right now. It's not really that big of a secret, but I, it's still in the work, so I don't want to like announce anything yet or whatever. Um, either way, so I've had those at the UPS mailbox for like a month and a half now, but the car accident happened. I didn't have a car and every time I tried to come here, it was like they were closed. So so I finally came and there's this paper saying that I had late fee charges. She totally forgot to charge me. Oh well. Official business documents. How much more official can this get? Official business documents. And while we're waiting before we go to the gym, I'm going to finger strength it or try really hard. I did this at Raymond's too. I need more finger strength. <laughs> oh, okay, you guys cannot see it before I get the finger strength down. But basically that little guy comes out and then you shake it up. Pre-workout, let's go. Got your girl in my section finna blow her. A player smoking loud, I'm about to roll her. She ain't never got high like this with a guy like this. When she pop it, tell her, hold her. Better believe she gon' live with a real. I take it down, I put it down like I do. I get to bustin' no discussion, gotta deal with it. Team, I swing, worry about you. Murder, out she rolled. Yeah, when I hit it, I'ma kill it, I'ma get it like murder, out she rolled. You wanna know how I know what I know? You watch me feed it till I keep it. I'm shaking, falling onto my knees. And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches Tripping over myself Aching, begging you to come out And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches yeah, look, I know you heard of me Man, I go and murder these Get them on the table, need some surgery It's like that, see them flow Every time it switches I'm doing Shawn Mendes When they rocking in like some stitches Like, uh, I free hard Get the beat, man, it's sick Take it to the ER But if I got that, man Write it on a cursive I'm spitting these verses Murder a man I'm gonna call me some nurses I get it like that Uh, Safari on We gon' ride the track Rolling with a Marion Like, uh, see me passing them There's something big I feel it happening Feel it in the Air like I got some amnesia They put me under the knife I got some anesthesia Cause I'ma go hard, yeah And they get close to me Cause I'ma murder every verse Like I'm supposed to be You watch Woo. me beat it till I can't breathe I'm shaking, <laughs> falling onto my knees And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches Tripping over myself Aching, begging you to come out And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches she come close to me She ain't going home where she supposed to be Getting money like I'm supposed to be yeah. I'm getting money like I'm supposed to be Ooh, and all my players close to me And all them other players where they supposed to be yeah. The hoes go for me And I eat your girl's booty like groceries Yeah, I'm shaking, falling onto my knees And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing stitches Aching, begging you to come out And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be needing sleep So for my next few exercises I am trying to do single arm arm stuff So I'm just using my right side So I have like a pump on my right side And not on my left side Super sad, but 
Um, I'm trying not to do too much single arm stuff, but I don't want to completely neglect my right arm, even though it's like really functioning, I don't want to completely neglect it. But I still can't like grip anything with this, so I can't really do any arm stuff with this arm at all. So it's getting kind of scrawny looking, but I'm still gonna like do my best to keep the left, the right arm here doing something. exercises on here too often so I'm gonna show you guys them I try to do them but I usually end up putting them off but I've been meaning to show you guys a couple of ab exercises that I like to do so I will show you guys that now I've shown you guys that a couple times, but I didn't do everything, but I do have to do cardio and I have to get out of here, so I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, this stuff I just got at the grocery store. So here we have pico de gallo, a ton of shredded lettuce, I got spinach because spinach is slightly more micronutrient dense than shredded lettuce is and it's a little bit more fiber, so I usually like mix the shredded lettuce in with my spinach. And then I also got a bunch of asparagus and some fresh cut regular like onions and peppers and then some fresh cut zucchini because lazy and broken hand. Um, so I got you, I showed you that spinach. I also got peppers, I got egg whites and I already had my almond milk and everything here. Um, what else did I get? So I got a ton of sparkling water. I really, really like these um, if I'm just like feeling something plain. And I got a bunch of sparkling ice. So I'm gonna take one of these guys. This flavor's okay. My favorite is the, what's it called? The green one there. It's like kiwi strawberry or something. That's my favorite, but I will get to it eventually. Um, I also stocked up on some of that, obviously. I also got these little guys, Carb Master Yogurt, so I'm gonna make these like a little treat. It's like four carb, zoom, focus. Four grams of carbs, nine protein, and 1.5 gram of fat. So this is like a solid little snack type deal. And I already had all this stuff. It's just like my icon meals, meat and stuff down here. Steak, ground turkey, ground bison. And that is all I got at the grocery store today. It's 11.30 p.m. and it's time for me to go to bed because I am getting hungry and the kitchen is right here. A lot of you guys ask me, how do you stay away from the kitchen when you work from home all day? It's not easy. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I am going to go to bed. Um, I was going to film the Q&A for this video today, but I realized tomorrow I'm getting my hair done because... I dye my hair black usually, and my roots are like super grown out, plus I need to get it blow dry. <laughs> so tomorrow is going to be, I'm going to barbell, getting my hair done, and I'm going to film this Q&A, but this video is going to end with the Q&A, so that'll be next. Enjoy guys.